I'm alive. I'm alive. Can you hear me? Blah blah. Just checking. Hello. Live again. Oh, yesterday, what a nightmare. Right, so I was streaming on TikTok and um, I was 17 minutes in and then I got like a message uh, flash up on me, uh, my laptop and it said that I wasn't doing enough. So TikTok told me that I wasn't, uh, what does it say? It basically said I wasn't doing enough um, in a nutshell. So I was thinking, well, I'm talking, I'm streaming, and I'm filming, so what does it mean I'm not doing enough? So, I don't know. So it just kicked me out. So the uh, the stream yesterday was so abrupt, it just kind of just stopped. So I stopped the game at the same point. Uh, so yeah, if anyone was watching and it just cut off, I do apologize. But the full video is on my YouTube. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stream it on here live, then just put the video on YouTube. So, cause on TikTok, obviously they get deleted after I think it's 30 days, and I'd rather save them. So yeah, hopefully, uh, maybe I just wasn't talking enough yesterday because I, I, towards the end of the hour, I started to get tired. I was knackered yesterday and had a headache. So I st wasn't talking as much. So maybe the TikTok algorithm or something didn't detect any, as much noise as it should. I don't know, it was so weird. So with that being said, let's continue. So what happened yesterday? Um, I was in the game, this is not to me. <laughs> so I've joined Hogwarts. I I've joined as a fifth year. I have a magic ability where I can see things glow blue, meaning I can see magic from the past. And I've just been taken to my Slytherin uh, dorm, and now the teacher, uh, Professor Weasley, is taking me around Hogwarts. So that's all you've missed so far. So let me have a swig of this because my mouth's dry from talking shit. Let's continue. Thanks for telling me, love. I wonder if our schools look like this. If Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. Oh, let me just turn the laptop down. I can hear an echo. Mm. There we go. All right. Yep. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. God, what mood was I in yesterday to pick that character? <laughs> it's like he's, I don't know, he looks homeless. Can you tell me more about Charms class? What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. As long as it's not Ronan Keaton. What exactly is Defense Against the Dark Arts? Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of defense against the dark arts is required for those who aspire to become auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. What's Hogsmeade? We don't all talk like this, you know. We're not all posh. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Mm, let's lie to her. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely.
precisely what Professor Fick said. Speak of the devil? Professor Fick! Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, oh, Professor. She's a nosy bitch, isn't she? Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. The details and animation on her face are so much more precise Good than anyone else's, like and all the freckles and stuff. Your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Open map. Oh. Oh, push the wrong button. Um, main quests. Okay. Some quests are locked by spells or level requirements. In these cases, you will need to be the required level, yeah, generic um, RPG stuff. Defense against the dark arts or charms. Let's do defense against the dark arts. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. I tell you what, none of my teachers were this bloody helpful. They're all fucking useless. Right. Try and remember buttons now. Rebellion. Ooh, I can hear it tingling. There's one. Statue of Gregory the Small, me. The statue with an. I've got not got my glasses on, so I'm. I'm I, if you see me squinting and struggling, I won't bother reading it. <laughs> I can't see. I can see, but I can't. What's that? Ooh. 
Oh, can I grab that? No. Oh, you can use um, a spell there. Oh, look. I can't remember how to play it. I said yesterday I played it before. But I can't remember how. Or any of the story or anything. I can't remember how to do those. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember now, actually. So, the trick with this is the first one isn't number one it's zero so zero one two three four five six seven eight nine so i need to is it that let's have a look Oh, ten, so I need a spider. Is it a spider? And... So, zero, one, two, three, four, five, and eight, nine, ten, thirteen, fourteen. So I need a number four, which is zero, one, two, three, four, which is that one. If I can find the other thingy. Oh, right. Be patient with me, internet. <laughs> what is that one at the top? I can't see it. It's like a bird on a stick. What is that there? Ah, oh, that's that one. Is there one a spider? We go. We're not working it out right. I'm sure it was zero. Not the best idea to start with Oh, I see, I see, I see. Right. Oh, 11, so one, two, ah. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, spider, I was right. So that one is a spider. And that one looks, that's a downward triangle. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, so three, one, two, zero, one, two, three. Ah, the dragon, right.
Ooh, what was that? So much to remember when you first start an RPG. You've got so much to learn. I've spent all of last year playing Witcher 3, and oh god, I loved it. I started the books, the audio books, while I was doing stuff around the house and uh, doing DIY, and I hammered out every single book back to back while I was playing the game on the side as well. It was, oh, there we go. What just happened then? Oh, I see. Collect eight field guide pages. Oh, okay. So yeah, oh, so I I got Witcher when it came out, and I played about thirty hours, and then I moved across the country, and I never got, went back to the game till last year, and I just couldn't get enough of it. I loved it. Just so you know, if anyone tunes in and starts chatting, I can't physically reply because they reply the the screens over here, so I can't see it. But I can. I'll do a reply afterwards. Uh, I'll do a little mini live stream uh, and just sit and chat to everyone. Anyone who's still watching by that point. Here we go. Right. you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. Knowledge is power. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. <laughs> a levitation charm. Levioso. A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? <laughs> Child abuse. <laughs> One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Steady your wand. Right. Ooh. It's Levioso, not Levioso. Levioso. Let's try something a little larger. Let us begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. Yes. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Uh, Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak. Levioso. Go. Now, uh, I see. Cast. Well done. Levioso. I remember it, how to do buttons. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Oh God, I'm gonna get my ass kicked. Right. This should be easy. Protego. Protego. Ah. This can't be your first duel. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. Yeah. Uh. Not bad, 
bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> what is that hair? Can't believe I chose that hair. I put you on the spot and you rose to the challenge. Points to Slytherin. Now, many. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. Hey, everyone. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right. That I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. Right, now what? Speak to Sebastian. That's not Sebastian. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, oh God. not the other way around. Every school had a kid like that, didn't it? Huh. Always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore. Where is Sebastian? Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? Felt more like I was dueling an expert. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. Yeah, it was. Never used my wand in combat. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Sounds intriguing. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. Right. I love the detail on this. This is exactly the same as the film, isn't it? Let's have a new was it? Oh, um Revelio. Where's that? It must be up there. You drilled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. Um, go to charms. Keeps moving to there we go. Revelio. I often wonder if Americans and people around the world think this is what all schools are like in Britain when in fact <laughs> Britain's a fucking shit hole.
Here. Behind you. There is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to Year 5 of Chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right? Now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Uh, 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 I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? It seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Right. Ooh. Yes. Akio. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. Sorry I'm so quiet. I just like to let the cutscenes play so people who haven't seen it before can actually listen to it rather than me chatting over it. And that was me trying to watch them and the person's <sighs> talking over everything. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Huh? Huh? I can't believe we've been playing for nearly half an hour already. Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres. Accio, relinquish your charm at the uh, excellent like... control. Now, uh, think of this like gobstone. That's it. <laughs> Stop. Ah, uh, yeah. Stay focused. Splendid. Very good. Points to Slytherin. Uh, I want to do it again now and get maximum points. Sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. She going first. Yes, sir. <sighs> oh, yeah, little bitch. There we go. Akio. <laughs> Very good. What's this? Shh. 
She good. That is how it's done. Well done. Let us see this. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Yay! A perfect <laughs> score! Remarkable! Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? What did you do? Oh. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Be sharp. Oh. There we go. Bastard! Ah! Uh. Don't lose your composure. Watch this. Yes. No. Um. How do I? All right. <laughs> Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. Thank you, but I've been holding my own. I appreciate you. I'm going to play as a bit of a dick because I usually play as the nice character. Just before my fourth year, my mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So, yes bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Spells cast without a wand must be less powerful than those cast with a wand. No, no, not at all. Wizarding magic cast without a wand is just as powerful. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. 
If you if you're not using a wand, then it must like you're using the force. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course. You can use accurate A word, movements, if you would. If you're so inclined. You wanted to speak with me, Professor. I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor. Though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. I forgot how much dialogue there is. Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom. But a bit mad. After my brother learned the summoning charm, it was constant Accio this, Accio that, cutlery flying everywhere. Quite unsafe, really. She's like something from a Victoria Wood sketch. Ooh. Just have a nosy round here. Revelio. Aren't you? I went to school with someone called Samantha Dale. <laughs> Hello, you wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale, I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day's going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. Thank you, but it really wasn't all that challenging. My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be a bit overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I find Professor Ronan's lessons a bit more challenging than you do. Oh, set a dirty look then. <laughs> right, uh, where to next? Long one. Go to the map screen. So many buttons to remember for my tiny little man brain. That's cool. Is it Sir? What's it called? What's the three-headed dog called? Uh, Supers. Such a well put together game, isn't it? Look at the environment. I always think like now they've made Hogwarts, like they've made the whole castle. So if they made a sequel to this, the castle's already been made because you can't really change the castle, can you, from what it is? So you just have to change the missions, I suppose, or add to the outside environment, or leave Hogwarts altogether. So that's what I mean, like, since they've made this game, you could keep this game going for a whole generation, just keep changing the missions, or, the, or the, uh, downloading new stories or new eras. Pretty cool. Rebellion. <laughs> this fountain which is a transfiguring courtyard, has slightness of a... Ah. 
What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Oh, she's a nosy bugger. Uh, no. Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. I'm not sure I have time for extra assignments, Professor. You shall find the time. You'd be astonished to know just how much you don't know. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect Ollivander. wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asks that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. Dun dun dun, up to no good. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. I can hear the synthesizer on my character's voice because like, you get to choose between, I think it was like three voices and when I played this as Ravenclaw and I didn't finish it, I just put the normal voice and I can hear through the headphones the, just the synthesizer and it's a bit off-putting actually. It sounds artificial. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. Can you hear it? There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. Hang on, this is set in like 1880s. That means uh, Harry Potter's set in the 90s. That means Ollivander's, he, lose, he was old in Harry Potter. So how old is he? Ollivander must be ancient. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Buddy Perhaps system. Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I had a conversation with him, love. Oh, Sebastian. I like Sebastian. I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard. And he knows the area. He'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavoury local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Revelio. Uh, there it is. Speak to Professor Ronan to receive your first assignment. Assignments are types of quests given to you by Hogwarts professors that when completed reward you with new spells. The rewards for completing your first assignment will be the Mending Charm Repair Roll, which is required to complete other quests. You can track assignments and their progress in the quest menu of your field guide. Partially Transfiguration. Ooh. Revelio. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, another cat. Gotta stroke them all. I love cats. I'm more of a dog person though. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do. And an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Repero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience. And these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Uh... This is the right area. Hey. Collect the flying paper. A flying page must be around here somewhere. Brilliant. The mechanics on this game are really good. I trust the preliminary tasks weren't. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Come on. Yeah. Uh, the menu charm can be used to make broken objects and pieces of environment. Gotcha. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Revelio. Whereabouts? Mm. Repair. Revelio. I don't know what it means. Oh, I see. Repero. Nicely done. Works like a charm, doesn't it? <laughs> but don't, don't. Oh, she looks happy. Right now, what? There as well. Repair. <laughs> Powers should be kept. This cannot possibly be as difficult as it seems. Accio. I like that ceiling. Oh. 
Revelio. You're at sub. Wow. Fancy meeting you here. Hello, Sebastian. Ah, my new charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides, then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained, too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? It's so funny, if you watch the characters, they do the little spiel, and then when the end of the dialogue, they go back to the reset of the mode of the face, so they, they go look like this, and then they go and proper look like they're giving resting bitch face. But you only see it for a split second. Ooh. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. As am I. Thank you, by the way. Of course. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. Speaking of Weasley, she seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Has she? That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention record. <laughs> Revelio! Spend a lot of time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well rounded. Speaking of detention, this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. Glad I could be of service. Madam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me, as is often the case. <laughs> Professor Weasley came to retrieve me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. So how did you manage to get on the librarian's bad side? Well, I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section. Revelio, I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. Oh, just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. The polyjuice. It's beard from the Forbidden Forest. Look! What's going on? See for yourself. Ooh. Quite a sight, isn't it? You certainly don't see that every day. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? <laughs> Absolutely. Likely already To the left is the Forbidden Forest. Out of bounds to all students. Oh, hence the name. Precisely. They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Ah, you can see Hogsmeade just past those ruins up ahead. How cool is that? That I was running, and because I was running, the characters were doing the dialogue out of breath. It's like a nice little have you touch. Have a chance to explore the castle? A little? It's positively enormous. It is that. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Loads to see, places to discover. Oh? Any you'd like to share with the class? Perhaps one day. I can't go around telling you all my secrets now, can I? You still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. I've always thought Thestral's pulling a carriage a bit grim. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you can see them. Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand too. Most notably, that dragon attack. Hopefully the rest of your year isn't as eventful. I forgot how big the map was. Mr. Moon! He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Huh? Pleasure! Uh... You might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. 
Is everything all right, sir? Oh, look right at me! <laughs> Eyes big as saucers! What did, Mr. Moon? Demi guys! Ugly and airy and terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. A Demi guys. I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. I've never seen Mr. Moon in such a state. Mr. Moon is quite the character. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. Oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? She is, or rather, she was. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. Ah. Uh. Honestly, if one could bottle the magic of this place, I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. We all flock to it like moths to a flame. Old architecture is so much nicer and more quaint than modern horrible architecture I hate it. Look at that. <laughs> Look how wonky it is. I don't realise how much dialogue there is on this game. Weasley told me you had a list of things to get. A wand and some other bits. Yes. Dittany seeds, some spell crafts and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with the new one. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. Righty ho. Have fun. It's Hogsmeade. Go to Ollivander's first. Merlin's beard. <laughs> Merlin's beard. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Hello, sir. I'm looking for, for a new wand. Yes, it's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivander's, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Hmm. Uh... No, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Hmm. Powerful core, ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm. <laughs> How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, thirteen and three quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Oh, looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um. 
Where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. So I keep looking because it, it cut off this time yesterday after nearly 70 minutes. So I just keep checking to see if it's gonna. Huh. How intriguing. Curious indeed. This change, ah, oh. how intriguing. Curious indeed. Oh, willow, I like willow trees, swishy. How intriguing. Indeed. I wonder if this makes any difference to anything. If it's just. I'll pick a rock hard one. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, it's saying now my, my, end will li my live will end in a second. We did this yesterday. Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sense a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seems. You must do it after an hour and five powerful. minutes. The right wand will learn from you just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Uh, anyone who's watching, I'm just saying before, um, I can't reply because my laptop's over here, the way the setup is. I've not got a proper setup, so I can't read the messages, so I have to look forward at the game. So I appreciate anyone who's there, but I just can't reply while I play because I can't do two things at once. <laughs> I've not got the messages on screen. I need to set out to, to, I, there's a way I can get it, so I've got my, my game and my thing on here, but I just don't know how to do it yet. I'm not very tech savvy at all. So, bear with me. It's all a learning curve. This is all new to me. I'm so shockingly bad with tech. Especially computers. Um, hang on, what did it say? Oh, right. What? How do I pick my next mission? What's that? Let's go for a mooch. Tomes and scrolls. Ah, the secret is do the hard work first. And then the ah. Use a few more ourselves in my house as well, love. I've put off my cleaning now to come and do this. <laughs> Let me 
kitchen looks like we've been burgled. An inquiring mind. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Right, Magic Neep next. There's a staircase if you move it. Oh! Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> That'll do. So there's a magic staircase if you remove the right book. Follow that page! God, you'd be fit, wouldn't you, if you went to this school, the amount of running around you do. I just saw a page. Okay, you bastard. Well, hello there. All right. It's all right. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? <laughs> I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Timothy sounds like he's from my neck at woods. Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Revelio. Right, visit J. Pippin's Potions. There's a 
fail with it. Was it? There we go. Move. <laughs> Ooh. Who can I repair that? Repairer. It all lit up white then, didn't it? Welcome to J. Pippin's Pushins. Here he Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss La Wang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art to potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses. And I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory, or come back another time if you're Pricey. in a rush today. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Sebastian. Revelio. Seb. I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your system? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. Oh, you bastard. Are we weakening him at all? Keep at it. We'll wear him down eventually. 